It's one thing to have a big fish story, many of us do, and some are more truthful than others. But for Festus fisherman George Chance, his big fish story has bragging rights on the rest of the world. Corey Miller and photojournalist Randy Schwenker have the story. It's easy to see what George Chance is passionate about. A fishing cabinet, inside and out. And that passion for fishing is genetic. Uh, it was just the very first memories I ever had was fishing with my dad. And I, I loved it from the first, from the time I can remember, I loved to fish. And we'd go down and fish till dark, and then he would, a quarter of a mile down the creek, he'd put me on his shoulders and carry me back after dark so I wouldn't get all wet coming through the weeds. You could even say fishing is almost religious for chance. And there were even times in the now 78-year-old's working career that fishing cost him a job. Ended up getting terminated for fishing. <laughs> I fished the creek at lunchtime. There was other issues involved, but they terminated me for fishing. And my, and my wife had been expecting it. Talks of jigs here I may need to use later. Uh, all the crankbaits, and I don't buy these. I find those in trees along the river. On March 19th, all those jigs made, all those crankbaits tied on, and all of those casts over the years paid off for the Festus resident in a truly huge way. It was a normal day on the Mississippi River until Chance got a tug that felt just a bit larger than most. You can almost hear the line go through the water. And I got 50 pound spider wire and probably had to drag set at 30 or 40 pounds. And he was stripping that thing and I thought, man, he's look at that spool go down. He's He probably ran 40 yards, just stripping line. I'm looking at my spool, I said, man, he get out there too far, I'm gonna run out of line. He didn't know it yet, but Chance had hooked a 97 pound big head carp. After a 20 minute fight, the angler got the fish on land. He took it to a recycling center to weigh it and called a conservation agent who gave him some exciting news. And so he told me right there, he said, well, you got a state record. I said, you're kidding. He said, no, you got a state record. Well, I'm home the next day and Jeff City calls. And he said, George, you haven't got just a state record, you got a world record. And I said, you're kidding. I said, what's that involved? Chance didn't just break the rod and reel big head carp world record. He shattered it by seven pounds. The fish was even bigger than his wife. Bigger girth than her and weighs more. I had buddies when I sent them a picture earlier, they, three of them thought it was photoshopped. I wouldn't say it's real deep, but it's plenty to cover a big fish. You know? yeah. <laughs> now the angler has a story for a lifetime and a world record to prove it. My wife said, you're gonna have to get a bigger head. I said, babe, my, my head wouldn't get big if I won the lottery. I said, but I can't stop grinning. <laughs> you know, about, I think that is so cool. That, that's unbelievable. You know, all the thousands of casts I made. And, and as for the fate of the fish? Of yeah, and that one was full of eggs. Yeah. It would have spawned, I mean, massive a bunch of eggs, like double handfuls of eggs. Oh my God. Well, it is an invasive species, but still found a purpose to serve fertilizing Chance's vegetable garden. That's about a 40 foot row from here, this little stake, to that stake down there, a little summer one. And it's fish touching one another all the way through there. And with one world record already in the bag, you bet Chance is planning for the next one. I said, the problem is nothing left in my, my bucket, my, my to-do bucket. I said, I'm gonna have to put a different species of fish in there because uh, I, I can't, I, got, I need a goal in life. <laughs> Reporting in Festus for Sports Plus, I'm Corey Miller.